before Christmas I broke my collarbone so I haven't been able to drive the Lotus for about five weeks and now it's freezing weather and there was ice everywhere this morning and uh, started up first go really really good who says Lotuses aren't reliable huh? well anyway this one is but so today I'm gonna go and I'm going to swap my Esprit for a BMW M5 this is Stuart he's been uh, dying begging all the time asking me to drive the Lotus <laughs> absolutely so uh, I finally caved in and today I said okay mate you can have it for the day and obviously the same time I need a car so he's giving me this crappy old BMW uh, <laughs> that I'm gonna take up to Oxford and stuff um, it's actually it's not really like that obviously I've wanted to, to try one of these for a while I had uh, an E46 M3 uh, and this is the bigger brother same sort of time period as well I think these mm. two weren't they um, so I wanted to have a go, so we're swapping cars of the day, very different cars as you can see. So just a couple of things to about the Esprit is uh, being a complete thoroughbred, it's got a couple of little quirks. Anyway, yeah thanks a lot mate and uh, enjoy the Esprit. It's been an absolutely terrible day to try a car, it's been raining the whole time. I've been hanging about waiting to see if it will stop because it looks like it's showers but it just rains a little bit less and then more it doesn't ever seem to stop completely. It is really good fun uh, in the rain. Wheel spins, it's got a lot of torque so it wheel spins at first, second, I think even in third if you really slam it in. I don't have the confidence to sort of chuck it round corners but it has lost traction once or twice. It feels pretty controllable. If it was my car, maybe I'd uh, try a little bit harder. Gear change is just horrible. I don't like it anyway. It's really notchy. Long travel, it's quite light. Um, but to me anyway, it doesn't feel, you know, nothing to write home about, it's not great. Hides its size really well. God, and that engine, love that. All it needs is a, a freer flowing exhaust to free it up a bit because it is, it's just too quiet, but it's lovely. It's got loads of torque. See, it's already been in touch and has sent me some messages about the Lotus threatening to drive to Cardiff in two hours flat from London and uh, really push the ring its neck knows that would make me a bit nervous. It has been really reliable but it is a Lotus and it is an Esprit so um, I did ask him to take it reasonably easy with it. But anyway he seems to be enjoying it but I'll find out when I see him, see what he thinks. It's such a shame it's such a nasty day because I think I really would enjoy driving this car. I do enjoy it but in the pissing rain like this it's not really the best time nice place to be the interior is pretty cool I've spent a few hours and what do I think yeah it's great it's like um, unsurprisingly it's very similar to my M3 it's a big friendly thing the engine is nicer or I much prefer it anyway it's got more low down torque very creamy very smooth and if anything the fact it's got that low down torque and less of a sort of less of pickup at the top just makes it easier to drive but it works it works really well absolutely brilliant all-round car as I knew it would be this era of BMW just seems to have steering with not very good feel Handles, handles really well. I haven't really pushed it very much because it's been such a horrible day. But you can tell it's nice. It totally belies its weight. It's fine to throw it around. It's quite precise as well. This has 115,000 miles on the clock. Seems in really good nick. I had a look last night and I think something like this goes for about maybe 15 grand around something like that, which I think is brilliant. They're good value these still. 
And if I had to choose, I think the price is now for an equivalent E46 M3 of this era and these M5s, the prices I think are, are quite similar from what I saw recently. So if I had to pick, I think I'd have to go for the M5. It's got some shove, but definitely hasn't got the top end that the 46 had. I think it's supposed to have about 400 horsepower, which is pretty much, I think, the most powerful car I've ever driven. And I have to say, it doesn't feel it. I, it feels quick, but I guess it's quite a heavy old thing. So anyway, glad I did it. I had good fun today. Tried an M5. Brilliant. Looking forward to getting back into the Lotus, though. Special little car, that, the Esprit. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, remember, like, please leave comments, good or bad, uh, subscribe, like, whatever. Uh, great for thank you very much for watching and see you soon.